Hello everyone, and welcome to Dark Souls. I'm back doing commentaries again. Um, all my footage that I did caught with Hayden has run out, and I'm back doing normal stuff on my own again. So, yeah, we've taken out quite a few bosses in the last few episodes, and we've been making very good progress. Now, I don't know why I'm still here. I need to get out of here and go somewhere. What? What the? What on earth? <laughs> Why is my guy doing yoga at the bonfire? He's got his leg through his... What is going on there? What on earth is going on there? Alright, let's see if it happens again if I sit down. <laughs> oh, no. So, la last episode, it was the knee... Bouncing to a beat, and now I've just got my guy doing yoga at the bonfire. I, I really, I, I can't tell you what that's about. But uh, anyway, my extra stretchy avatar aside, we're going to head off to Firelink Shrine because, well, we've got the Covenant of Artorias now, which means that if we want, we can go down into the what's it called again, New Londo Ruins. And take on the four kings. Let's talk to the crestfallen dude. Damn, that stench. And I was really beginning to like it here. Oh, maybe it's time I do something about it. Wow, the crestfallen guy is is gonna do something rather than just sit there all depressed. Onion dude, Onion Knight. Hi, man. It's been a while since I saw you. How you doing? Well, fancy meeting you here. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. You know, I was thinking the game, the old fortress. Is that your doing? Yes. Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This knight of Katarina thanks you sincerely. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. Thank you very much. There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> I hope so, but I'm not convinced by that. Now, uh... Right, where should I go first? Let's go talk to... Um... Hey, it's Pyromancy Guy. Can't remember his name. Oh, hello there. I'm pleased to see you safe, as always. If you provide the materials, I can teach you pyromancy. Is it Laurentius? Be safe, friend. Don't you dare go hollow. Laurentius of the Great Swamp, I believe is his name. Now let's go talk to King Seeker Frampt with that ridiculous moustache that these Primordial Serpents have. Heavens, you have done it. You have retrieved the Lord Vessel. After a thousand years, it is you. It is really you. <laughs> Forgive me. I really should calm down. Now, let us take that vessel on a journey. I assume that you are ready. Now, be still. That gives a whole new meaning to the phrase swallowing. <laughs> you right there, man? This is the firelink chamber for the successor of Lord Wyss. Now, place the Lord Vessel on the altar. All righty then. Let's do it. Plays Lord Bess.
Right, so this can also act as a bonfire. It gives me 10 Estus flasks, which means it is kindled. I'm not surprised. It is the Lord Vessel. Uh, yeah, now what? Very well. As King Seeker, I shall now instruct you, the Lord's successor, in your next task. To achieve your fate, fill the vessel with powerful souls, commensurate to the great soul of Gwyn. Scarce few possess such brilliant souls. Brave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, the Four Kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul. And Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seath the Scaleless. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. Are you ready? Then we shall return. Stay still for a moment. So where's the rest of his body then? Just somewhere in the middle, and he's just swinging between the two constantly. Is that is that what's going on? Is that what he's doing? I'm not sure. All right then. Oh crud! I can't. If I keep us out, oh, I need to. Oh, that's right. Fucking, what's his name? Stoller. Oh, I need to go get the firekeeper back. Oh, I don't like doing that because he is annoying. Does the blood not just rush to his head when he does that? It looks quite uncomfortable, if I'm honest with you. Right, we need to warp to... Where's the closest? Actually, Chamber of the Princess would be the closest. I can't level up, so... Might as well go straight there. Because I want Firelink Shrine back now. I mean, not that it even matters, because I've got the Lord Vessel. But, you know, just for the sake of the Firekeeper, who has been wrongfully kidnapped by the evil dude who he saved, whose name I can't remember. It's really evading me right now, and it's annoying me. You can Google it, or I'll put it up. I was going to send an annotation, but YouTube has gotten rid of those. Cheers! We'll just head down here. We need that uh, orb thing so that we can invade Lortrek or Lortrek. It's Knight Lortrek. That's the guy. Knight Lortrek, who we saved from the Undead Parish, and then he went and nicked our Firekeeper and stuff. We need to get our Firekeeper back. Using the Black Eye Orb to invade Loren, uh, yeah, uh, Lord Trek's world. And can I do that without, like, alerting this guy? Where can I do that from? Apparently not. I'm gonna have to beat him up. I mean, I could just, you know, choose somewhere else. No! No! Uh, okay, so I have to, like, cross over that little bit there. Fair enough. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to go and hope that I can get... Ah, that's not brilliant. That's a whole load of health before I even go. There we go. We got out of there. That's fine. I can deal with that little bit of health. Right, if I remember correctly, it's not just Lord Trek. He's got two friends, two helpers who make it much more difficult to beat him. Here we go. Invaded the world of Night Lord Trek the Guilty. I'm utterly silent. That is a weird... Well, that is weird. Alright, anyway, let's get... Let's kick his ass, man. You've got my Firekeeper. So, here, we go again. here we go again, indeed. And that's a bad start. That's that's a horrendous start. Can I use my essences? Uh, I sh...
What on earth was I doing there? That was absolutely dreadful. And not only that, but I'm still at Fire Link Altar. I'm not even at Chamber of the Princess. So I've got to go through another load screen now. Oh my word. That's awful. That is... That is dreadful. In so many ways. So I'm going to rest there now so that I don't have to go through another load screen from Fire Link Altar. So that's one thing down, but hopefully I won't have to go through another one of these anyway. I'm planning to take him down fairly quickly. It is that magic person who's always really annoyed me. I mean, the other guy, the other melee guy, he's fine. I don't really care about him. Lord Trek himself is fine as well. He's a bit quick, but he's fine. But the magic guy does so much damage really quickly as well. You feel the black eye orb quivering that just said? And I think I'll be safe to use it up here without getting hit by one of the giants. Oh! Both of the giants, they're both coming. Come on, come on, come on. Get me out of here, please. Thank you. Right! Take two. Alright, let's just see if I can use the crossbow to get some long distance shots in. No, I can't. I don't know how to- is there a way to aim the crossbow? Because I, I I actually don't know. I've never been able to use the crossbow, and I don't know if I can aim it. I I honestly don't know. I I just shoot it. I don't know if I can aim it. If anyone knows how to aim the crossbow in Dark Souls, please let me know. Because I haven't got a clue. Look, it's I haven't got a clue. So this ain't working, so let's just get our halberd back out and just do what we were doing the first time. See if we've got any better rings to put on. Don't really think we have, if I'm honest with you. There's a small increase of HP from the Tiny Beings ring. We'll try that, although it hasn't actually increased my HP, because, I mean, that, that's nothing, is it, really? That is nothing. That hasn't helped in the slightest. We're just going to have to go in and try again. These guys are radiating sound. Yep, I'm going to keep coming back to you're dead. I hope you know this. I really want to get rid of this magic person if I can. Come on. Yeah, I'm trying. All right. I'm out of the way. I'm out of the way. Yes, there we go. Good, good. Magic person's dead. That's good. That's a start. That is a start. Just Lord Trek to go because the other guy, I've already said, I don't really care about the other guy. He doesn't annoy me nearly as much because he needs to get in close as well. As long as he doesn't get in too close, then I'm fine. Let's get out of there. Some people are able to do this a lot better than I am. I'm just taking my time because I know he's quick. And he also gives you blood loss because of the weapons he's using. But he's one hit away. There we go. Give me my firekeeper back. And you can piss off and all now. Souvenir of reprisal. If I can kill this guy as well, that would be a bonus. No. No. Yes. Ah, oh, I just ran out of time. But okay, there we go. Lot check is down. Took me a couple of attempts, but we're good. We are good. And hopefully now we can uh, return our firekeeper to her rightful place. And I get the ring of favor and protection, which is an excellent ring, to be fair. And this giant is already after me, like, straight away. Um, but there is a bonfire nearby. In fact, there's two bonfires nearby from here. Um, so let's just head to one of them and restore our firekeeper. All right, I've decided to take this guy on as well, just to get rid of him, to be honest. I feel like I'm powerful enough now to do it. I don't really like fighting this guy much because um, you're in a very enclosed space. But to be fair, that can help against this guy because if you stay in close, he does a lot less damage than if you're like out somewhere, so. Also, his uh, most powerful attacks are slow, like as he's in the way, that hurt though. I should Estus. Why aren't I Estusing? Why do I have this habit of just not Estusing when I need to? There we go. That'll do. Still got four remaining. We can get this guy. We can get this guy. We've got a few hits already. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. Although I think it was more him missing than me dodging. Yeah, it's just more him going over the top of my character. We're getting some good damage in though. He's getting there. He's on the ropes. I've got him on the ropes. It's just a waiting game. Be patient. You can't, you can't rush Dark Souls. If you rush Dark Souls, you're going to fail. Good hit, good hit, Estus. Brilliant timing. Come on, you've only got like a 
quarter of your health left. Get some hits in from the back where he can't get to me. This is great. One more hit should do it. Surely. Maybe another. Maybe another. I'm grossly misjudging this. There we go. Pick up items and demon titanite. Thank you very much. I doubt I'll even new tip, but he's just out the way now. Which is is good news, I guess. Quick level up whilst we're at this bonfire. Uh what can I level up? I'm looking at decks, but I don't really think I need it, but I'm gonna do it anyway because why not? There we go. That was probably a waste of a level up, but I've done it anyway. Time to restore Firelink Shrine to its former glory. We're back at Firelink Shrine. It's interesting that you can still warp to here. You can't use it as a bonfire, but you can warp to the location, which is interesting. And our primordial serpent friend is asleep. Oh, well, we've all got to sleep. It is a vital part of life. So whilst he's taking his nap, let's bring the firekeeper back. Thank you. I am Anastasia of Astora. You talk. Now I can continue my duty as a keeper. But I only hope that my impure tongue does not offend. Impure tongue, eh? Forgive me. I have been pure. My tongue never intended for restoration. Please, if you have any heart, leave me be. I wish not to speak. All right, but can you do this for me? Yeah, cheers. That's all I ask, really, for, for, for some reinforcement of my Estus flasks. All right, then. That'll do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Bit of a episode in which to run errands more than anything, to return Firelink Shrine to its glory. Uh, next time we'll hopefully do something a little bit more productive, but thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.